dressed yet. I know. That's the best part. Stop it. I'm serious. Hey, you're the one who bought it for me. I'm just trying to put it to good use. I bought you the camera so that you could make your film, not so you could creep on me. Oh, baby. She looks so good on camera. Stop pulling around. I gotta get ready for work. What? I'm not doing anything. Tom. Stop. Hey, I got an idea. How about you call on sick today? Nope. Come on. Get you hop back in bed. I'll rent us a movie. We can cuddle, maybe fool around a little bit. And I'll take you out to lunch. The, uh, the name of that place that you like with the mimosas. Tom, you promised. No, not for me. I'll drink iced tea. Just because I'm not drinking doesn't mean you can't, right? One of us needs to go to work today. <laughs> I need to get the phone. Uh, she's got a point there. What'd you say? Nothing. Just talking to the camera. Hello? Sure, my ass is calling. It's for you. Here, let me take this. Hello? Yeah, this is Tom Redding. Mm-hmm. What? Hang on a second. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I understand. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. What was that about? My mother killed herself. You're a hard person to get in touch with, Tom. Oh, please, have a seat. I'm Dr. Jorgensen. Well, nice to meet you. Thanks for tracking me down. How was the drive? It's fine, thank you. I'm sorry about your mother. This must be hard for you. Not really. I don't even remember her. She left whenever I was little. She could have told me that over the phone. Is that it? No. What are those? The keys to your mother's house. She left it to you. <laughs> Just like that, huh? Just like that. But there is something else. Okay, what is it? You have a sister, Tom. Her name is Chloe. She should have been institutionalized years ago, but your mother wouldn't allow it. So she's crazy. We don't say crazy. The technical diagnosis is catatonic schizophrenia. Chloe doesn't speak, move, or respond to any external stimuli. Why? No one knows for sure. Mental illness is often hereditary. It usually manifests itself later in life after physical or mental trauma. But Chloe's case is completely unique. Would you like to see her now? <laughs> Hello, Chloe. How are you today? I have a surprise for you. This is your brother, Tom. You can talk to her. It's OK to feel uncomfortable. Chloe's used to that, aren't you, Chloe? You can see why I tried to convince your mother to admit her. Mm-hmm. Well. It's nice to meet you. What if I wanted to spend some time with her? You're more than welcome to visit whenever you like. 
No, I'm not just talking about a couple of hours here or there. I want to get to know her. This is all there is, Tom. I don't know. I, I've got a house now, right? Maybe I could take her there for a little while. You're not qualified. Qualified? She doesn't move. How hard can it be? I don't think you understand the toll it could take on you to care for someone in Chloe's condition. Someone that isn't trained for it, trying to do it all himself. Well, it could be maddening. Your mother tried to do it and- Doc, I'm not my mother. And not to be disrespectful, but I don't think she belongs in a place like this. Now, my mom did it for years, right? I'm sure I could handle a couple of months. I really don't think it's a good idea. Dr. Jorgensen, I'm asking you. Please. She's all the family I got. On one condition. Anything what? If there are any issues, if you see any changes, you've got to call me right away. Doc, I'll probably call you twice a day. And you got the sound gear already, right? Yeah. There you go. Sure you don't mind me taking your car? Of course not. I don't want you breaking down when you have a crazy in the car. It's not crazy. I was just kidding. I just meant... Yeah. Are you sure about this? It's perfect. It's perfect. Hey. How long have I been stuck trying to figure out an idea for my thesis film, huh? Could you possibly think of anything better than this? I guess not. You'll be up with me in a couple of weeks anyway. Besides, you'll be glad to have me out of your hair while you're grading term papers. She's a little creepy though, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. A little. Call me when you get up there? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, cut it out. Day one of my trip with Chloe, the sister that I never knew I had. Say hi, Chloe. And uh, day one of this documentary shoot. Feels weird to be a character in my own film, but since Chloe doesn't talk, it seems pretty important that I am. I'm excited to get to the house. I want to know what happened there, why my mother did what she did. Just can't imagine wanting to kill yourself in such a beautiful place. Now, if you look ahead, you can see Mount Shasta. Apparently, some local Indians believed that the mountain was inhabited by gods and demons. And when the mountain shadow descends upon the valley below, the gods sleep while the demons pass into this dimension from the spiritual to the physical and walk freely in the darkness among men. Pretty spooky, what do you think, Chloe? I'll take that as a yes. I don't know why I'm reporting this. Well, this is the last town on the map before I get to my mother's house, which is another hour over the mountain still. And population zero, there is literally no one here, nothing. Uh, got abandoned railroad cars, houses over there that look like they haven't been lived in for years. Let's go take a look. Oh, 
Oh, wow. One, two, and three. There we go. Okay. Guess you and Mom like to quiet. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's a mess, but it's perfect. Fireplace, that's good. It's getting cold already, huh? Where's your room, Chloe? What's this thing here for? Stop for bed. This is the house phone? Mm-hmm. I got it working. Cell service is shit, so if you need anything, just call me here. How's Chloe doing? She's good. Just put her to bed. I'm gonna hit the hay soon, too. I miss you, babe. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. You too. Encountering some things that I don't understand. I found a heavy duty lock and a chain on the outside of Chloe's bedroom door. I think my mother put it there, which is disturbing. There's also all these religious charms and crystals, like this guy, all over the house. I don't know what they're going on. some of the footage from the drive up here and it was glitchy too just like that I don't know maybe it's a software thing I'll figure it out but as you can see I've made a little confessional room I'm gonna come in here and just record my thoughts while I'm on the trip um, I'll check in every once in a while but that's all for now <laughs> You 
really eat this stuff, huh? Would you rather have some bacon and eggs or something? French toast? You like French toast? Okay. Damn it. Let's figure this out. a very extensive physical therapy regimen outlined here part of the day I'll be a, a lot more careful from now on, Chloe, I promise. Right now, I gotta go out and clear my head. I'll go get some B-roll of the rock or some sunset shots or something. We'll be back in time to make dinner, okay? You'll be all right. Really lost if you jump from up there.
Chloe. Chloe. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. I got lost. You okay? It's great. It's just great. I was not expecting to be so bored all the time. And turns out, Chloe's not much for conversation. <laughs> At least I got you, right? Just wish we could go out for a drink or something. Sounds good. Wait a second. What's this? Must have forgot that I packed this. Not a single malt, but I think it's going to get the job done. Down the hatch. <sighs> it's good stuff. Did you just say something? <laughs> right. Good night, sis. Sorry if I'm not very good at this yet.
my sister is in this all fucking day. I don't know what there is to complain about. It seems pretty fun to me. It's been too long, old friend. <laughs> I'm Chloe. I'm in a wheelchair. Woo! <laughs> so quiet here. Forgot your meds. What are you trying to do? Did you move that? Chloe, how'd you do that? Can you hear me? Chloe, can you hear me? Okay, fine. You don't want to talk? I can wait. games with me. You understand? Are you hungry? You want to eat? Yeah? Well, pick up the spoon. Pick up the fucking spoon! Sorry. Uh... I mean, just... Delete that footage. I'm trying, Chloe. I hope you understand that. This is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should call Dr. Jorgensen. What do you think? Make you some more porridge. Okay? Car 
damage. That's garbage. <laughs> what a fucking hack. What is that? Do you hear that? There's something out there. Hear you. Jesus. Something happened last night. Something 
I don't know. As you can see, I've hit my head. But I also found this. I haven't had a chance to go through it yet, but it's a diary. It's my mother's diary. Chloe? Do you know anything about this? I know you do. I know you're in there. Let's see what's in it. December 14th. Something's happening with Chloe. She's different. I tried to tell Dr. Jorgensen. She asked me if I've been taking my medication. She thinks I'm going crazy again, but I'm not. I leave her alone for a moment when I... When I come back, things are different, out of place. You're faking this, aren't you? December 24th, Christmas Eve. Chloe pushed me. I can't prove it, but she pushed me down the stairs. I came back upstairs and she was sitting in her wheelchair like nothing happened, but I know she pushed me. Does that sound familiar? Hmm? Did you push me? I know you can hear me. Talk. Answer me, goddammit! You see that? That's a camera. You're gonna screw up one of these days and I'm gonna catch everything on tape. Better not pull any shit when Jamie's here. This place is amazing. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself? Um, I fell down the stairs. Embarrassing. It's a good thing I'm here. You can't uh, get by without me. Huh. Come on, let me show you the house. Hey. Glad to see you. I didn't see one car the last hour I was driving. Yeah, it's quiet. I know it's a little cold. Be better once I get the fire going. It's definitely a fixer upper. Perfect. I was worried when I didn't hear from you. What have you been doing? You want a drink? I think we should celebrate. Let's have a drink. Okay. I'm pretty sure I saw a bottle of Merlot around here somewhere. Yeah, I guess. One glass won't hurt anybody. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Ah, here it is. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> pretty Jamie. You're the prettiest girl in the world. <laughs> Are you sure she's okay in there? Chloe? Yeah, she's fine. So tell me what's been going on. 
Not a lot to tell. Have you at least been getting some good footage? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Need a refill? No, I'm good. Well, suit yourself. What? You hungry? I guess. Good. To us. I mean, you should see some of the crap that I have to read. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just tired of doing the bitch work. You know, I can't wait until I have my own TA. Soon enough. Or you could just quit. Yeah, right. And do what? Move out here. <laughs> So, uh, this is the master bedroom. No. It's downstairs. But it's the only one down there, so... So Chloe gets it? Uh-huh. I guess we'll just have to make this work. you get up here? I'm not playing games with you. Why would you do that to me? Huh? No, I'm under enough stress right now. I got your bullshit. Checking on Chloe. I know it sounds weird, but I worry about her sometimes. No, I get it. Come back to bed, though, okay? Shame. 
me is driving me nuts. It was so much better when it was just me and Chloe. I thought it would be nice to have someone else to talk to, but she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand what's going on here. She doesn't understand what's happening with Chloe. She doesn't understand what I'm trying to do. I don't know what to do about her. Why are you doing that? I figured I'd feed Chloe this morning since you couldn't seem to get out of bed. Well, filming's really been stressing me out lately. Filming? What exactly have you been filming? I mean, really. Did you put her medicine in there? No. I didn't say anything about medicine. Printed right there. If you don't mix it in with her food, she's gonna reject it. Sorry. I'll put the medicine in. Where is it? It's a set routine for a reason, you know? Are you serious right now? Just forget about it. She already fed her too much. Clearly, I've done something wrong here. I'm gonna go for a run. Unless you need my help filming. I don't need anyone's help. Very pretty, Chloe. Wait here.
That's pretty. You have really pretty eyes, Chloe. I'm worried about Tom. He's not usually like this. It's... I know he's stressed with the filming and everything, but I don't know. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. Take that stuff off of her face. You're just having a little fun. Does it look like she's having fun to you? What? Your nose. It's the altitude. Don't worry about it. Here. No, I've got no, it. No, don't you. Do not use your shirt. Just I have. Take that shit off of her face. She looks like a fucking clown. Did you just say something? Chloe? Are you trying to talk? Are you serious? Hey, Dr. Jorgensen. Speaking. This is Jamie, um, Tom Redding's girlfriend. I'm so glad you called. Are you with Tom? Um. No, he can't come to the phone right now. Is everything okay? Tom's acting strange. Tell me what's happening. Um, he's been aggressive, just not his usual self. How's Chloe? Is it possible she might be faking it? Uh, no, that's highly improbable. I know, it's just... Something's wrong. Um, something is really wrong. You need to get him to bring Chloe back here. Okay, I'll try to talk to him. Yeah, do that. Thank you. Bye.
guess this is the only way I can talk to you now. I'm leaving, Tom. I love you. I really do. I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Whatever you're doing up here. But I just can't. Where are my car keys? Hmm? Give me my car keys. The mountain pass might be snowed over. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Give me my keys. No. Fine. I'll take your car. Come on. See, you're not supposed to leave yet. Get under me! I'm calling Dr. Jorgensen. You're not fit to be taking care of Chloe. Nope. You don't understand. I'm making really good progress with her. You're fucking insane! <laughs> Jamie! Come on! up the phone. No. Hi. Can I please speak to Dr. Jordan? No, no! I asked you nicely. Did I? Be gone. Jamie! Jamie. Jamie. Open the door. What day is it, Chloe? I don't understand. I know you're in there. Please talk to me. She thinks I'm crazy. Am I crazy, Chloe? I'm done. I'm fucking done with this. If you want to pretend nothing is going on here, that's fine. I'll take you back to that home. I'll let you rot there. Don't leave me. What did you say? You wouldn't take me back there, would you? 
No. No, I won't take you back there. Promise? Yeah, I promise. I knew you were in there. I've always been here. I know. I love you, sis. What about her? Who? The other girl. What about her? She doesn't love me. What are you trying to say? She doesn't love me! Get rid of her. No. no I can't do that. Please wake up, Tom. Oh, thank God. Are you all right? I think so. What happened? I don't know. I must have passed out and hit my head or something. But do you think you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Let's just get out of here. This place is evil. No. Tom, something is happening. Get away! <laughs> You have to leave now. Chloe doesn't want you here. Chloe doesn't want me here? You need help, Tom. <laughs> it's not funny. I was just playing a game. Well, you win. She's leaving. You can't let her leave. She's going to tell on us. I don't care. I'm going to touch her. You can't stop me. Yeah? Oh, I, no, stop! Stop it! Don't move. You're staying in here tonight. Sorry about everything. Maybe when I get back home, we can work things out. Mm hmm I just need to finish my work. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. Where are you taking that? <laughs> You're taking it. Where? Up there. Grab a lot. Chloe. Listen, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I crashed my car and I haven't been able to get a signal. It's too cold for me to stay out here, so I'm running back to the house, but I... Hello? Hello? Jimmy? Hello? Dr. Jorgensen, can you hear me? I can barely hear you. Okay. okay, listen. I'm headed back to the house. I need you to call someone soon. There's something wrong with Chloe. I can't take it anymore. I don't know what to do. She was going to abandon me. Just like she did to you. Just like that other girl, too. Throw it in the fire, Tommy. Burn it.
I don't understand. I know you're in there. She thinks I'm crazy. Am I? Chloe, am I crazy? I'm done. I am fucking done with this. If you want to pretend like nothing's going on here, that's fine. I'll take you back to that home and you can rot there. Don't leave me. What did you say? You wouldn't take me back there, would you? No, I won't take you back there. Prom? Yeah, I promise. I promise. I knew you were in there. I've always been here. I know. <laughs> I know I love you, sis. What about her? Who? The other girl. What about her? She doesn't love me. What do you mean? She doesn't love me. What do you think? Get rid of her. You stay away from me. No, I can't do that. It's just a little rough footage, but... I think it's gonna cut together really nicely. Stay back. Then I will. Let me show you some more. Where are you going? Leave me alone! Stay away! Stay away from me! What are you gonna do with that? Huh? Hey! Don't you get it? It's just a movie. I don't want to use this, but I will if I have to. No, I don't think so. You're crazy. All the great ones are. Walked in on a little misunderstanding. Go and wait in the car. No, you don't understand. Jamie, not... I can take care of it. Glad you came, Doc. Chloe and I have so much to tell you. Where is Chloe? Uh, she's around here somewhere. Would you mind turning off the flashlight? Not at all. Come out. I'm gonna cut your fucking head off. <laughs> One. Two. Where the fuck are you? Where the 
fuck are you? <laughs> I just want to finish my movie. I think I finally figured out the end. <laughs> Hit me. I will. Fucking hit me. I will! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might help me move on if I finished Tom's documentary. I know it sounds a little crazy, but I feel like I owe it to him. I don't expect anyone else to understand, but I'm just going to be piecing it together to try to make some sense out of what happened. But first things first, uh, Chloe lives with me now. I applied to be her temporary guardian. Well, Chloe and I are going to be teaching each other a thing or two. Isn't that right, Chloe? That's really all I have at the moment, but I just wanted to get started, so. Bye for now. I'll just leave it going for a little while. 